Coogan Cassis, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm out of breath here. Oh, you just had a water fight? That was very charged both of his. I haven't had a water fight for a long time. That was very charged both of his. Who started it? No comment. You saw who started it, it was your coach. No comment, man. The camera saw who started it. Oh, you Bad man, you two. How are you? You should be a double actor on YouTube. I know. On a TV show? Maybe. It will go, it will go down well. After he's both retire. Maybe. Coogan and Booth. Or Booth and Coogan. Don't know. After we both retire. After we both retire. I'll be dead. I'll be dead. I'm doing it until I die. Do you love it that much? What? Do you love it that much? No, but I can see myself doing it for a while. But you'd be like, great. I'll, I'll be 80 year old still. Like, great. Come yeah, you know. Chasing people. Just, just, can we talk about you? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm just, just chilling, really. I'm not chilling. I'm still taking over. So, just um, mentally giving my mind a little rest. A tip, really. Mm. It must have been a difficult situation yeah. for you in Sheffield. Yeah. Because, I mean, I've never known for a long time a fight of that kind of magnitude. To be literally pulled, you're talking about three or four hours before you're meant to fight. So, so Tuesday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, then I felt all right, but I was a little bit something hang around this. And I told, I, I said, Adam, look, I think I've got something hang around this. He said, look, we step up on the vitamins and stuff and keep yourself going. I went right. He said, you'll have a couple of days down, Wednesday and Thursday, and then obviously Friday and Saturday, and then you need to wait and do the fight. I was like sweet positive, got there Wednesday, felt a bit better, still had something around us but I thought I'm, I'm, I'm on too close to keep positive mindset. Um, but when I made the weight, obviously, I think the immune system just crashed and I was just, I, that night I was burning up a little bit, I didn't feel too well but I said look, we, Adam's here, we're going to have to ride it out until the morning and see if you get any better, I went to sleep. So I sat there, I got a good sleep, woke up in the morning, sheets were soaking, I was in bed. I got up, I said, look, I'll leave it till as wet, till as, as soon as I can, like, till as long as I can, till the fight, until any, to see if anything changes, see if I have a, I don't know, see if I eat something that changes, or if I drink more, or something like that. I don't want the rules to come out, and I'm still burning up. So I said, look, Adam said, I'll call it a day. But I was, I was really, 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 really wounded, because a lot of people say this, that, and the other, but the sacrifices around me for that fight, it was just, on a different level. I've had a baby born the last fight before that. Mm. A week before my last fight, I had a baby born. Spent no time and went straight back into another camp after that fight. So I boxed on the Saturday. On the Sunday, I was out running. On the Monday, I was back in the gym. So I didn't spend any time with the baby. Straight away back in the camp. Four weeks again, slogging away, keeping the weight down. Everything was perfect, spawn, unbelievable. And then that happens. It's the sickness, really. And obviously, I don't get nothing out of it. I don't get paid. No, no, that's what Can people I mean? don't realize. Those people paid. suggesting that kind of. Oh, we didn't want it, or we didn't well, fancy I, I, it. Why would, right, A, A, why would I do the four weeks training? B, why would I make the weight on the scales, right? And it's just like, just logically set it all up. We, we wanted to have an Asian fight for the, previous, for the previous one in November. Them said they needed more time to train. So we went fine, we'll move that fight to the December. So that was the, that, straight after that fight, that's why Eddie went, boom, this fight. I already, I, I already knew about that. So we moved it to the 8th because give them more time to train, they need to come over. And that's what it was, and I mean, just little things like that people people don't click on to. But I mean, it's boxing at the end of the day. Mm. It's, a, it's a journey in itself. I love my ups and downs, like everyone. And I, I was just, it's just written, that was what it was meant to be. And believe me now, I mean, I, since I've got better last week, I mean, I had one day off, and I'm, I'm, the new year is going to be a big year. Starting with David Abinesian. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and I mean, when, when you really think about it logically and think, you've gone through your whole camp, yeah. like you said, you've made the way, you've done everything, and then you don't get paid. No, I don't get paid. Not, not at Christmas. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Christmas. Hello. Even if I went Hello. in there to, to lose, and it, not to, I wouldn't ever go to lose, but even if I went in there 40% of the fraud, which I, I wouldn't, I, I couldn't, I'm, I'm so, I, I hate losing that the game on the PlayStation, never mind. For, um, language, never mind 
the boxing. I can't lose it. I, don't, I hate losing even even in Spain. It's learning, but I hate even taking a shot in Spain. Like mm. most competitive, one of the most competitive people. So that's just a, it's a load of shit. But that, I've never, never, ever. My character is too strong for that. I never, ever, ever I will battle fight. Just the fights what I've talked previously. The names has been said, and I'm just like, look, just do, do what you do. Get the fights, and I'll box you over. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We, we meant to fight David and Nessie on November the 8th when I boxed, not November the 10th. So then what the more time we give him. And I, I, mate, of course, their team is going to be upset. Any team will be upset. I'll be upset if I was on the other end of it. Mm. It's understandable. But end of the day, we get a fight in the new year, and the result will be the same as what was going to be. And might as well be shot. Mm. Um, just moving away from ammunition, obviously. Adam Booth, a month ago, put this thing out, or put the idea out there that, you know, he'd be more than willing to put you in with Amir Khan. Um, but just where Khan is in his career, Josh, do you think that's really an Not unrealistic? Not logic for him whatsoever. I mean... But it's a fight that you, like I said, you've said you, you will take Look, that fight. If Adam believes in me, right, this is a thing I'll always say, and I'll, I'll stick by it, right? If he believes in me, I'll fight anyone if he says, Josh, you're ready for, say, 10 scores or more, I'll go, right, let's, let's, let's go. If you don't believe in me, I'll have belief in myself. I know, it's, I know you can only take it so far, but I mean, that's why, that's why I'm puzzled a bit, like, with people saying this, that, and the other, but... I keep going back to that because I've got a little bee on me, but I've got a little bee on me bonnet about it because I'm not, I, I've never, I, I've never been like that before. So it's like, I've well, got, <laughs> I'm between an hour over Christmas just to, just to come into camp. Nice. Oh. Anyways, moving away, like you said, um, logically in their career, and all doesn't make no sense to them because they're at that, that level and I'm sort of at this level. So it's like, do they want to risk everything what they've got to fight the lad who's had eight fights? Do you know what I mean? And uh, it potentially it might be a little dangerous fight. Do you know what I mean? Like awkward. And I believe in myself against anyone. I sparred some great people in the gym. I sparred some quality people. I know sparring's different to fighting, but if I can take that, take what I got from them spars into the ring, I feel very confident in myself against a lot of opponents. Mm. I mean. Like you said, you're going from the guidance of your coach, Adam. Yeah. So for him to even... You don't really hear Adam talking like that a lot. No, uh, about. Talk, talk shit. <laughs> talk, he, he but when he puts that out there, he must have confidence that you would yeah. have to beat him the calm. He wouldn't tell it is. I've asked him before. I've said, like... I've even said, do you, do you really think that? Because I'm that type of guy. I'm like, let's make sure. And he's like, Josh, I wouldn't see it if I didn't mean it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I just wouldn't even bring it into the equation to speak about it. So... I'm, I'm not a guy who shout people out and say, I want this person, I want that person. Every one of my fights has been made because Adam said, this is the next step, and Eddie's went, right, we'll get you the opponent. I've never asked for anybody, but the thing is, I will fight anybody. So it, it is what it is, and I'll keep doing it. I'll keep proving people's that little doubt is wrong, here and there and everywhere, which you have to on the way up in boxing. But I've got a lot of support, and I've got a lot of people behind us. Okay, now. Not the loudest <laughs> dressing room ever. It's like this all the time. Uh, but I've got a lot of support and I look at me. I'm just a humble guy at the end of the day. I'm really down to earth and come from like down to earth background. Something that absolutely nothing to me and it made me way here. And I'm, I'm just loving every minute of it. And I mean, mm. you'll always get that as you need it on the way. But I've proved, I've proved them all wrong all the way through since I've been a kid till now. So mm. fuck them all. Fuck them all. <laughs> uh, Josh Kelly, thank you very much for coming to TV. Wish you a wonderful, happy Christmas, and uh, we'll definitely catch up with you in the new year. Then we'll have to catch up with you in New Year. What's up, man? It's popping, yeah.